Right now at 6 o'clock, a crime alert where any of us could be the victims. Mail stolen, everything from packages to passports, and then it's being used to steal people's identities. It is a crime that is soaring in this part of Houston. We're talking the Memorial Village's Police Department. They're investigating a rash of mail thefts in Hunters Creek, Bunker Hill, and Piney Point. KPRC 2 investigator Robert Arnold is live now with a story that you will see only on 2 tonight. And Robert, we're talking about personal mailboxes, those blue mailboxes like the one behind you, post offices, thieves are really hitting all of them right now. Yes, all of the above. This is definitely an affluent area of town encompassing 3,000 homes and it has drawn the attention of thieves looking to cash in on stolen mail and stolen identities. They're throwing the junk mail on the floor, the good stuff. They're putting in a backpack. Memorial Village's police chief, Ray Schultz, walks us through several recent cases involving everything from gift cards to cash to Russian passports stolen out of the mail. The State Department obviously has some very strong interest in this. Schultz says some of the thieves are stealing right out of people's mailboxes. We've also got these crews driving around at night, driving up the mailboxes and taking mail. Others are hitting blue boxes and even post offices. In some cases, the crooks had master keys. One of the suspects we were able to identify was a son of a U.S. postal employee. Schultz says the real goal of these criminals is not the mail, but the personal information. He started seeing a steady upkick in identity theft cases when the pandemic started. He's seen the identities of officers, CEOs, and retirees stolen and used to cash in on unemployment money and small business loans. Many times the victims do not know that they've been victimized until the payment book shows up that says a loan has been taken out and it's usually somewhere between 80 and $110,000. Schultz says the thieves work quickly. Some keep detailed ledgers so they can start opening accounts almost as soon as they steal someone's information. An uncommon to find in the cars, portable scanners, portable encoders. And disguises? Because crooks, no cameras are everywhere. That's the depth that some of these criminals are going into to steal your identity. Chief Schultz says they have made several arrests and they continue to work to find out who is behind some of the more sophisticated criminal operations. Meantime, the chief says be diligent, pick your mail up every single day. Consider paying all your bills online and also consider signing up for the Postal Service's free informed delivery service. We have information on how to do that on click2houston.com. Reporting live from the Memorial area, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News. Good advice. Thank you, Robert.